Hi guys, uh, this is how you should analyze a text uh, for task 1. Firstly, when you have the text, identify the tenses in the text. Let's look at this text. Last year. The word last year shows that it has happened. I went. Went is the verb for a holiday in Penang. I stayed. Stayed is the verb at the Pearl Hotel in Batu Feringi. From the first line itself, we can identify that this text most probably is going to be in past form. That means the verb are, is, are in past tense. Okay, let's look at the next line. My dad drives. Drives is the error, so the past tense for drive is drove. Next, if you look, the journey took. Took is the verb, so we know that the past tense for take is took. About six hours. Everyone was exhausted. You can see another past form here. By the time we reached Past form, he was very and insisted. Past form, take him to the beach immediately. So while mom and I dutifully work there, Samuel and dad put. Put is also a past form here. The form doesn't change because it's single syllable. They are swimming trunks and went. So generally, when you look into this text, the whole text is in past form. Okay. The journey took about six. Okay. Let's look into the structure, subject, verb, and object. So this one, our, is a noun. Six is singular or plural? One or many? Plural, right? So, many. More than one. If more than one, you will add S. Many hours. So, the answer for number one is hours. Okay, let's look at the next slide. Everyone, subject, was exhausted. Verb. By the time we reached. By the time. So here is another clause. The time. This is by the time. Object. We reach. Subject. Verb. And object. Okay. They are. Okay. So you can see that the subject is we. So, that means this is your clue. This is pronoun. So, if the subject is we, reach, our. The object will be our. Or you can even use the destination. So, the answer, there is two options. Destination, except Samuel. He is the subject. Was is the verb. Very, very what? So, this is your clue here. Insistent and N. So, N is a connector used to connect two ideas. So, N. So, if this is in past form, that means this also has to be in past form. So, excited. Excited. Okay, let's look into the next line. So, why mom and I dutifully... So, this is the subject... This is the subject. 
This is an adverb. Verb. This is an adverb. Okay. All our clothes. This is the object. So, this text is in what tense? It is in past tense. So, if it is in past tense, that means the verb has to be in past tense. So, it is unpacked. Okay. Dad, Samuel and Dad put, put, put on or put off? Put on means, put on off means usually you put off a fire okay put your swimming trunk swimming trunk is an attire so you wear the attire number five will be put on okay as we waved goodbye to samuel i knew he would so this is your clue would is a model. I've already mentioned many times. After a model will be a root verb. Root verb, if in Malay, we say kata dasar. Okay? So, the root verb for has is have. Number six, the answer is have. Okay. Let's look into the next line. But within 15 minutes, I saw, so this one, as you can know, number 7, it is talking about two people who went to the beach. So, there are two who went to the beach. Besides Samuel, Samuel and his dad. So, here, the pronoun has to be two. I saw them returning. Number seven, the answer is them. Okay, next one, number eight. Dad was, your key word is was. So when we talk about past tense, we have past continuous tense. We have done this in class before. So this one will be carrying. Carrying. Okay, now let's look at what has been tested in the error correction text. Okay, we have looked into tenses, the past form, past tense, and then we have nouns. We have the plural form of nouns. We have models. This will be models or words such as can, shall, will, must. These are examples of models. So after a model will be a root verb. Root verb doesn't have S. Doesn't have ES, doesn't have EN, doesn't have ING, doesn't have ED. Okay, but let's see if it is a auxiliary verb after the model, which is uh, example has. This is the error. The root word for has is have. The root word for is, is, be. The root verb for did, is, to. Okay, so these are what we have gone through. Besides that, we have also uh, seen into pronouns. Okay, you have studied this in your class. Pronoun, the usage of first person, third person. Okay, when it is at the subject and when it is at the object. Okay, so this 
uh, what has been tested at the error correction. I will provide you some links for you to do some revision. I will more likely say as a reinforcement so that you could perform better in the next lesson.